Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to Faces to a brand new video today where we're going to be going over my top 10 games for 2023. What games I'm looking forward to the most. Um, this list is going to be completely random. I don't have like a 1 to 10 or 10 to 1. It's just completely random. These are just my top games I'm looking forward to the most. So let's jump into this top 10. So starting off on my kind of like my first game on the list is payday free um i've heard a lot of rumors about this game where like it's got done on unreal engine 5 some of the things that you could do in a game and it's been a game that's been kind of crying out from the community for a long time and i've not it's been one of the games i need to play because i've not played payday 2 i've played like little bits of it uh but i've never like sat down and played the proper game properly um and i only hear phenomenal stuff so it's one of the games i want to play um soon so i kind of like know what i'm dealing with and i love a good heist heist like movie so i imagine like heist game as well i absolutely love so generally i'm excited for payday 3 just to see what it delivers and i will probably pick it up on day of release as well because i'm generally intrigued and there's a lot of hype for it Next up on the list is Hogwarts Legacy. Generally, really excited for this game. It's probably my... If I was to give a number one most look for game I'm looking forward to the most at the minute, this game probably, just because it's been delayed a couple of times now. The overall game's pretty cool. And I think we've always wanted a kind of a game like this where we're like, wouldn't it be great like when you watch the Harry Potter movies like to go to Hogwarts and live that life? You sort of can with this game. And I feel like this game's got so much depth to it. It's going to keep us busy for most of next year or this year and probably going into next year as well if they keep updating it and stuff like that with things to do, DLC. Generally, it's going to be quite a game. Um, there is a bit of annoying thing with this game, though, which has my eyebrow raising a little bit. The fact it's delayed for the older consoles. I don't know it's because they're maybe just downgrading it and it's not just kind of polished off as well because, like, PS4 and Xbox One don't come out until, I think... Uh, April, then Nintendo Switch, not until Switch, uh, July for the Switch. Uh, so I'm quite concerned there. And also, I hope this is not going to be a start of games where, one, like, say Call of Duty comes out November, then, say, for older generations or anything like that, they release it later on. I hope that's not going to become a thing. Like, I still want games to come out all day one for every platform. So we all experience that at the same time. So... I'm keeping an eye on that pattern I am with games because I hope that's not going to become a thing now. So next up on my list is a Destiny 2 a Lightfall. If you know me, I'm a big Destiny 2 fan. Absolutely love the franchise. I love the, the stories. I love the, the generally the MO, MMO, like the grind sort of game. I absolutely love uh, Bungie, a big fan of Halo 3 back in the day. And I'm generally excited for this DLC. Destiny myself is one of them games, like it goes through surges. Like when new DLC comes out, it's peak again. Then just as that lifespan of the next year and a half, it kind of just drops off and falls off. But then when it kind of like re reach, kind of gets close to reaching rock bottom, it like pumps out a new DLC brings the energy back to destiny and i absolutely love that with destiny because i feel like they, they, when the game starts dipping new dlc comes out because destiny is definitely one of them games like it goes through roller coasters and i generally find that this roller coaster is close to crashing but the dlc is literally next month so it's going to bounce back and i think it's going to bring a lot of destiny fans back again but also it could be very scary because a lot of people say this dlc is not good they might be done with Destiny. So it's going to be quite interesting to see what happens with Destiny. But myself, I'm really looking forward to DLC because it looks absolutely epic. Next up on my list is going to be The Day Before. Generally, really excited by this game. I didn't get made aware of this game until a very late on last year mid last year um basically when people was like have you seen this zombie game that's coming out i'm like what um it was like oh i just thought a gym i thought it was like another battle royale sort of thing but no i got shown a bit of like trailer for it some gameplay and oh my god this game has got me so intrigued it's coming out in march it is on every platform so pc console i generally am so excited for this game i don't know which platform i'm going to platform i'm gonna pick it up yet um probably console because i'm a console noob and i'm generally excited by it because it's when i look at it it looks like the divisions 
meets a zombie game, but there's also like Daisy meeting like what Daisy should have been or just this i reckon it's gonna be a really epic zombie kind of game which we've always wanted in a way and i think for the first time in a while a proper epic zombie game that we've always wanted as well because there's not been a good zombie game for a long time and i generally feel like this game is gonna be that game i have high hopes i think a lot of people have high hopes and another one to add to my list this year they haven't announced the game yet which, which i don't believe they have is the studios that make the dark pictures every year they tend to release a game or something like that like last year they did the kind of the quarry they did what's that game the devil in me and i generally am intrigued to see what these guys deliver because these guys release like new games every year and i feel like they've got something underneath up their sleeve like they're going to be revealing soon and their next kind of like project they're going to be doing so I'm very excited to see what they bring out and what they're going to be doing now with their like the, the next lot of games because they finished the dark picture one so I'm kind of intrigued to see what they do next so I have very high hopes for these guys because I generally love choice based games and these guys do it really well another game which I'm looking forward to this year uh, which I, I reckon it's going to get delayed again but it might not get delayed which is Suicide Squad i generally am so excited for this game because rocksteady make the fantastic Ark arkham games but the fact they're now doing the suicide squad game is really awesome and generally i'm intrigued because they've took their time in this game and i have high hopes for these guys because you had gotham knights that's come out and it flopped a bit uh, I don't know if a bit's being generous. It's kind of flopped pretty hard, I <laughs> probably should say. Uh, it's not done as well. I think a lot of people were hoping or uh, perform as well as it should. But I feel like Rocksteady are a solid game studio. And I feel like they're going to do Suicide Squad really good. I reckon, right, you got the Avengers game, right? They're going to show the Avengers game on how to make an actual bloody squad game, which with the Suicide Squad. So I reckon... For a superhero kind of game like with players multiple characters i reckon suicide squad is going to be that game i reckon it's going to outdo avengers by a land mile i really really do feel that and the next game up on my list is spider-man spider-man 2 i don't need to say anymore if you played spider-man 1 if you played spider-man miles morales epic games they're amazing and they've got venom in this one just wow i don't know what else i could say really other than this game i feel is going to be a very close close contender for game of the year already then another one which i'm going to check on my list as well this year this year because i only played the third one last year which is diablo 4 absolutely love diablo 3 it was a perfect game uh, which i talked about in my top 10 video where it was just like a perfect game to pick up put down and just play over a, like two or three weeks and now the fact, the fact Diablo 4 is coming out in the middle next year as well, I'm generally really looking forward to it. So that's definitely going to be a game I'm going to pick up on day one, and I'm looking forward to playing that game. I'm definitely going to have to replay Diablo 3 again, I reckon, before the fourth one comes out. And the next game on that list is Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed Mahaj, I believe it's called. Um, if not, there is a picture here of what it's actually called and the cover of it. Um next assassin's creed game i've been put off by assassin's creed for a long time because i'm Ezio kind of era i absolutely love the xbox 360 assassin's creed games i liked it when they were basic simple and i understand can understand they went kind of dropped off a bit so but they went rpg to re, re revise it a little bit but you still have that core audience where like it's not quite the same as it was but people enjoy the new assassin's creed what they're doing in a way but i think there's still that underlying feeling it's like it's not quite what we want though um it's kind of like when call of duty were like we're a bit bored of boots on the ground we want something a bit different and they went and did space for a couple of cod games and they've gone yeah i'm a bit uh, can we go back to the old system a little bit and now gone now back to boots on the ground it's kind of the same i feel like with assassin's creed people got bored of the old system with assassin's creed and they've done something a bit different with an rpg and everyone's kind of gone can we just go back to the basics just have a really good story um and i feel like they're kind of doing that because there's rumors with this next assassin's creed it's gonna be very basic back to the roots of assassin's creed and that's generally got me 
me excited. I've not been kind of like intrigued by an Assassin's Creed game for a long time. Like I've got Valhalla to play, but I'm generally not that bothered about playing it, but I will play it. Um, I've not generally been excited for Assassin's Creed for a long time. Probably Assassin's Creed 3, probably. Probably was the last one. One with Connor, because like the American one, that one was was like probably the last exciting last time i was excited for assassin's creed but other than that not being that excited for assassin's creed for a very long time then coming up to my last game on my list i think everyone this is on everyone's list alan awake 2 generally i'm so excited by this game i don't know why we've waited so long for an alan wake a sequel but the fact we're finally getting it and they're gonna be doing something a little bit of a spin on it this time as well I'm generally am intrigued with this game because I absolutely loved Alan Wake one. Like generally, it's on my list of games to play again um, coming into this year, and I generally am so excited to replay Alan Wake because it's one of them unique horror games which I don't really like horror a lot, but that's one of them games I think of like that's a solid horror game. That's like one of my favourites. And I am really am intrigued with Alan Wake 2 to see what they do. And especially the fact this X amount of years later, I'm generally intrigued to see what they're going to do. Because they're talking about having a little bit of a spin on like Alan Wake 2 a little bit more. I um, can't think of the word, but it's, just a little, it's going to be different from the first game. So I am generally am intrigued to see what they do in the second one. So... I generally am excited by this top 10 list. So if you what do you reckon make of my top 10 list? Do you agree with it? Do you like say, yes, yeah, good sort of games in there? Do some games I've maybe missed out on? Let us know in the comments down below. Uh let us know if there's any games I've missed out on. Because there's probably games I've probably missed out on. Uh which I just completely slipped underneath my radar. But let us know. Have yourself a lovely rest of your day. And if you want to check out another video on the channel, you got a video right here. You can go check out. You can subscribe up here as well. Um, and uh, before you do go, make sure you leave a like, all right? Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.